Hello, we are going to do a nursery bed within a tray. So you can buy this anywhere. Um, this is a soil that I got from my garden and we that's what we're going to use today. You put it in the tray slowly and steadily and of course know that you don't have to overpile it. Yes. Just put, just put. It's nature. <laughs> so um, I bought this tray in town, within a village. Those of you who are in Uganda, yes, you can get any tray from uh, those people who, who sell agriculture things. So here we're going to add our seeds in a tray, ready to plant. That is nakati, and you put about two to three seeds. So you put it slowly and steadily and of course that is easy easy peasy <laughs> and then we are going to do our sukuma wiki hi people from west africa how people from east africa how do you like it? sukuma wiki <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. you put in a, it's the same process, you put in about two to three seeds. And uh, yeah, so have you subscribed yet? Please do share the video with your family and friends. And of course, here we are, my favorite, spinach. Yay! For those of you who have been on this channel, you know how I love spinach. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to put in, I think I put in a little bit more <laughs> because I love it so much. But please, it is two to three seeds, but I uh, put about five. <laughs> After finishing to put all your seeds, it's time to get your soil and add on top of the seeds. You get, you get your soil and add on top of your seeds so that they cover them and they get all the goodness from the plant yes. and um, that is it you make sure that every seed is covered with soil because if you don't cover it chances of growing is two percent okay one okay but it's less <laughs> So after covering, this is the time to just make sure that no soil is on top of the tray, to make sure that you remove all the particles that are not soil, and then you lift it up, then place it down for the soil to stabilize. And yes, you can see, easy peasy, you can do this. You are going to water your tray and just like that we're going to shift it to a place that you're really sure that sunlight can reach i can repeat that sunlight can reach so i put it on my veranda and this is day three day three can you imagine so nice and day six <laughs> yes day six and uh, sukuma is out spinach is out Nakati. Mm. Nah. <laughs> so this is day 10 are you seeing the progress i am <laughs> day 10 and everything is out and nice so comment and share this is day 12 day 12 it is amazing the spinach is is thriving the skuma is thriving i mean nakati it has appeared it is there but it is little but we thank god regardless we move that is the nakati that is the sukuma that is the spinach you see how spinach is thriving they're like over 10 seedlings in one thing so you can see of course not everything grows so you really expect that 
there are some that want to grow and there are some that are going to thrive there are some that are going to just stay there you can see the nakati what i realized about nakati is that i should have watered it more if i was doing once a day i should have i should have been doing like twice or thrice so this is a lesson that i learned yeah and of course sharing is scary <laughs> ah, so have you shared this video with your family and friends someone who wants to start their little garden this video is so helpful a 14 here we are and this is a time to transplant so tell me your favorite vegetable and yeah bye